Welcome back to the Wikilab channel guys. In this tutorial we are going to make a simple motor control in circuit. Mm -hmm. This schematic consists of several uh, components and I am going to talk about each one of them. And this consists of two connectors. This is the power connector. This power connector is used to supply the 5 volts coming from the Arduino board and the ground from the Arduino board to our circuit. So we have 5 volt pin uh, which is going to be connected uh, to the uh, connector of the uh, circuit and we also have a ground pin coming from the Arduino board which is going to be connected to the uh, ground terminal of this connector so we have the ground and the positive connected after that uh, we have the ground uh, 5 volt link to this circuit uh, using wire by labeling method uh, so that means that these two lines will be connected which is supplying 5 volts uh, one of the motor terminals will be supplied with 5 volts uh, this is the terminal where we are going to connect the motor. So simply the motor comes in here. So one terminal will connect it to the motor like this and the rest of the terminal will be switched by using the NPN transistor. So this is the other pin of the motor which is going to be switched from this transistor. So we have the, uh, the other pin of the motor coming to the collector of the transistor and also we have a ground connection for the emitter of the transistor so this ground and this ground will be again linked in order to control this circuit we are using Arduino uh, microcontroller and we are going to supply the signal coming from the Arduino microcontroller so we have a pad connector here which is going to supply the signal coming from the PWM pin of the Arduino to the circuit so that will be going through a resistor which is of course uh, having a value of like 1 kilo ohm this is to limit the uh, base current uh, supplied to the transistor when the base is supplied with a small current a large current tends to flow from the collector to the emitter so the current uh, will be flowing like this so which causes the motor to switch on but uh, since we are supplying base with the PWM signal it means that we can uh, regulate the speed of this motor because we are going to switch this transistor really fast so that we can achieve speed control in this circuit we have a diode connected in reverse bias to prevent any back emf generated from the motor causing any harm to this transistor we have led indications to make sure that when we receive a signal from the microcontroller this led lights up like this and this is the circuit which we showed you how it's being constructed we have the led indicator we have the d400 transistor as well as the we have the positive and the negative terminals of the battery or the arduino which is connected to this and also we have the terminal for connecting the motor we have the signal uh, pin which is a single pin uh, we are going to use this if you are using a separate power source make sure that the ground connection of the arduino is connected to the ground connection of this terminal as well because we need to have a reference in order to measure the signal coming from the arduino microcontroller in order to demonstrate the switching of the motor and the speed control i am using this uh, modified servo motor i am going to connect the wires of this motor to our motor connector Now we have connected the motor to the uh, circuit and next step is to connect the uh, power pins and the signal pin to the Arduino microcontroller. For this process I am going to use an Arduino Nano. So in this case I am going to uh, connect the first 5 volt pin uh, of the Arduino to the uh, power input of the circuit board. Next I am going to connect the ground pin to the negative supply of the circuit. And I am also going to use a PWM pin from this microcontroller to control the speed so I am going to use the pin D5 so we have successfully completed our circuits let's go for the coding and demonstration I am now going to connect the Arduino to the uh, computer like this by plugging the cable I have a code running in this microcontroller the code consists of two for loops one for loop is to read uh, increase the value of the PWM signal and other for loop is to reduce the PWM signal so this is uh, now it's uh, increasing the PWM uh, function and uh, it causes the motor to rotate faster and then it will tend to slow down because I am reducing the value next I will like to show you the code for this 
so in the void setup i'm going to define my pins so the pin number 5 is defined as an output next i'm going to use the serial monitor in order to show how the uh, pwm signal varies between 0 and 255 so in the void loop i have a for loop starting with uh, integer i equal to 0 so uh, until the i value is equal or less than 255 the i tends to increase from uh, the current value plus 5 units so each time this for loop iterates it will be increasing in next we have a delay of 300, uh, 300 milliseconds then i am going to print the uh, value which was sent to the analog write function then in the next turn it will be increased by 5 units and it will increase until its value is equal to 255 basically in this for loop we are keeping on increasing the value of the uh, analog write function and next uh, it is followed by another for loop which start the initial value from 255 then it will uh, tend to decrease from 255 to 0 next i am going to demonstrate this using the serial monitor so when i turn on the serial monitor you can see that the uh, pwm value or the analog write function keeps on increasing its value 5 by 5 until it reaches a value of 255 which causes this motor to speed up until 255 it will be speeding up the motor when it reaches 255 it will be again reducing the value of the pwm signal given to the motor so it causes the motor to reduce speed i hope that this video has helped you with controlling motors and understanding the pwm function sent for the motors to control its speed and hope to see you in the next video thanks for joining with the wiki lab channel